Many student athletes of ours struggle with the managing the heavy and sports. Today, I'm joined by successful student athlete Luke Johnson to see how he balances his busy schedule. Welcome, Luke. <laughs> Thank you for having me, Kumbo. It's a pleasure to be here. How's your day been so far? It's been great. You know, I haven't had too many classes today, so it's been good. But looking forward to the afternoon. We got practice and uh, got some homework to get, take care of. So it's exciting. All right. So yeah, tell me about your day at school so far. Like, what typical classes do you have on a daily basis? So I take five classes, uh, four APs, and then senior Bible. So I actually have three off periods. Um, the APs are difficult, but Utilizing my off periods has really helped. All right. And um, what like what AP classes do you have? So I'm in AP Calc, BC, AP Physics, C, AP Lit, and AP Chemistry. That must be hard classes. So like, how do you like balance your PR, use your PRTs to your advantage? Yeah, every PRT, I'm always with friends in those classes trying to bang out homework or get ahead or whatever I need to do just so I'm not overwhelmed. Uh, at night time. All right. And then what about your day? What about practice? Like what's practice like after school? Yeah. So right after school, I'll go to my car, grab my stuff, change, and then head to the field and get warmed up. Get warmed up. And how have you guys been doing in soccer so far this season? Uh, currently we're doing pretty well. We're three, one and one, and hopefully on the upcoming. So doing pretty well. Also, a curiosity, like how much time do you spend on homework at night? Um, probably between two and three hours on a bad day. Two, three hours. And then, like, I know you're pretty busy with games and stuff. So how do you, like, manage your day when you have, like, a game, let's say, at 3.30? Do you have to, like, make it for teachers in advance? Or do you or do you just, like, roll with it? Like, how do you? Yeah, definitely communication is a big part of um... – uh, balancing like a schedule, trying to get ahead, like, oh, teacher, I'll miss this time on this day. Uh, I looked ahead, saw what we're doing. I'm going to try and bang that out tonight or whatever it is. Just utilizing off periods, utilizing business lunches, um, time before school, time after school, all of the above. Anytime, just making sure I'm focusing on school and soccer and just keeping that balance. Yeah, balance. That's really good. Um. And then obviously does your homework like transfer over the weekends? Like let's say you have like, I don't know, multiple, like an essay due or a chem test next week. Like do you use your weekends as well to like try and knock out some homework? Yeah, I usually dedicate my Sunday nights to uh, a lot of my homework time. But sometimes if I'm desperate, it'll be a Tuesday or sorry, not a Tuesday, Saturday night maybe, but usually not. Usually not. And – and obviously you're a senior now at Valor. So what has been like your hardest class, you would say? Definitely a push. I am not good at history and that was a pretty tough class, but I owe a lot to uh, Mr. Stapleton. He's a really good teacher. So a lot of my success to him. I've heard a lot about Mr. Stapleton. Seems like a good teacher. Do you like know him on a personal basis? Um, not really, but Apparently he references me a little bit. He, he said I was a very surprising uh, success in his class because I do have fun and I mess around. But <clears throat> when it comes to putting in that hard work, I, I really do that every time. Well, thank you, Luke, for your time and good luck with your academics in the soccer season. Can't wait to see you guys play it. Thank you. Yeah, Friday, Paula.